decides to well, stop I, the train. I, I, I wanted to tweet out about it. I want to say everybody's the greatest Joker, man, because everybody's saying they want to play Joker. But we're not playing Joker right now. We are playing Shulk and Wolf. Yeah. Wow, getting the fair extends it into a grab combo. Very nice stuff. 34% and still continuing with the up throw into up air. Trying to keep up the pressure, but there we go. Catching him on the landing. The back is not able to come out to keep him stuffed out. And Charlie's doing an amazing job just reading that pressure. Able yeah. to figure out how Nico's trying to get in and just reversing it into how he wants to extend it to a big combo. Very great start. It's the guy into the down throw and he's got Nico on the ledges here. He tries to go for the out smash. Bringing the fact that Nico might be going for a ledge option there and might have been able to scoop him up. But Nico holds on true to the ledge. He's reversed the rolls here. If he can get a ledge extension right here, if he goes for a couple forward airs, he can tie things up. I'm glad that Charlie didn't go for a full hop that entire time when he was in shield at the ledge. I feel like that's the new- Oh, oh excuse God. me, what era is this? What era is this? Uh, looking like Smash 4 with that <laughs> up throw to up air, but that was great, reading the jump away. I mean, that's one of those things. I mean, Charlie spent that whole time at the ledge not jumping, not taking yeah. the bite, and then Nico was able to finally stuff it out with that uh, up throw into the finisher. With that up air. Yeah, getting the classic Smash 4 tech from Shulk via mod, aka the 248, whereas some like to call them an auto purge. Speaking of purges here, Charlie immediately purging the stock. But he's got 73% to the name here. He's taking some damage. Hopefully, he can understand what he has to do to come back. Gets the grab, sensing the end might coming out from one of Nico's moves. He's able to find a punish there, but back to the ledge. Nico just trying to keep him there. It's a great play, but he switches the shield out to avoid getting comboed. Yep, I like that. Just jumps away. Doesn't want to deal with any reversal damage. If every time you get hit by Shulk and Shield Art, that's just a really big victory for Shulk. Yeah. He's not keeping that up right now. All right, landing back air is going to keep him off one more time. And I like that. He's trying to space away, just space with those dash chances, getting around those snares, trying to figure out how to get his way in. It's a Yet again, mixing up the jump highs, and he finally sees the opportunity to go for the forward, and he takes it. There's the punishment. Nico is able to deliver against Charlie, but Charlie missing two grabs. Nico with a great play. He's getting extra credit homework done here, but can Charlie find the opportunity to catch up? He tries to go for a grab or an aerial, but immediately Nico able to punish him out as soon as he goes for the jump. Charlie kind of took the bait there. It's one of those things where, ah, oh, shoot, Shulk's and Buster Art, and he's doing damage on me. I want to get damage on him, but it didn't quite happen that way. He took 84% from that sequence, but he's going to be able to close it out. He's able to parry that backslash. Very nice stuff, and still keep up a potential to try and win this game. 39% onto Shulk. That's nothing to laugh at. I mean, he can keep up the pressure, and I love the way he's trying to space around with those empty hops, trying to bait out a roll or something. Mm -hmm. Nico not quite taking the bait, but he's going to keep that in mind that he's, okay, he's going to stay in shield. Let me see if I can get a grab or something devastating afterwards. Tries to poke through right there at the ledge, and he finds a solid trait. Charlie just trying to close the spacing between each other. If you're going to approach me, find the laser, find this fireball option, right? But unfortunately, Nico was able to hit him right before the dagger hit. I'm sorry, uh, the bayonet hit or the laser itself. So that was a great play from Nico. Definitely just took the initiative to see that Charlie was already pushed to the ledge. That was one of those difficult, uh, I, thought for, I thought for a second that the bayonet on the blaster mm -hmm. was the one that actually caused the lightning strike. Yeah. But that didn't quite happen, it was just a trade on the aerial. That'd be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I knew what he was trying to do. He was trying to get away and use the blaster to keep him off. Mm -hmm. so that he could return back to neutral, but that just didn't quite work it, it, the way it, it, it At that situation, right, now, that was Charlie's fight. The return to neutral here. The return back to not only the neutral of the stage, the return to neutral of the game. And Nico immediately just exited all that opportunities for Charlie, but immediately Charlie coming back here gets that grab into the upper. He's putting in solid percent here, but I do like the fact that he's waiting for the shield art to run out. And he, ta he takes the time because he knows if he's hitting him in shield art and Nico managed to get a hit, he still has more victory over the 50% he does have currently on right now. One thing I do like though, Charlie trying to find neutral I like the fact that he did the fadeaway there so he can find good spacing and come back towards the neutral yet again. I feel like that's his aim of the game. Stay center stage and avoid the sides of the game here. All right, Nico trying to get some of with these aerials. He, that's his fight now, right? Fighting back for center stage. Solid hey, spacing from Charlie. Gonna catch him out in the air. Ooh, and gets him with the down smash as well at the ledge. That was so quick. That fastball into the upbeat, <laughs> but Charlie was ready for it. He knew exactly what he wanted to do. Gets the grab, up throw into the, I like it, the up tilt. And that's a pretty good mix up from Charlie because now he knows Shulk's weight has changed. The paradigm for my combos have changed. What am I gonna do? And he goes for the up tilt instead. Correct answer. Neutra into the back air. Nico forcing out this leg play. He's going for these aerials, but he's not able to find anything just yet. And Charlie comes striking back. And Nico right at the ledge. This is what it comes down to, right? The fight for center stage we've been mentioning so far this entire game. 
Charlie doing a good job keeping up and tacking up the damage on him. Putting him on stage one more time. Catches him with the neutral getup. I don't think Nico's done that quite yet, but I think he was trying to read a jump or something with how close he was at the ledge. Still works out for him though. But the smash art is available. And that wolf up B gonna be able to cost him end lag and he's actually gonna lose his stock for it. And that's the situation that Charlie wanted to go for, probably one of those crazy wolf plays, but he's not able to find it. And Nico just goes for the high jump option. Still at 140%. The catch up opportunities here are diminishing as Charlie gets the grab and puts him off the stage. Nico into jump art using that backslash. Great parry from Charlie. He has to be used to it at this point here. Yeah, just, he didn't quite get the punish that time around. Nico's facing it towards the ledge. So good stuff from him. Oh, gets clipped. One more time. All right, you're going to use that down. So very quick move from frame or from Wolf's uh, arsenal. So we're gonna be able to keep him off one more time. Good empty hop. Looks like Nico's been doing an excellent job of winning neutral. An excellent job of the DI. Switching into shield dart. He lands on the stage, not getting the safe space for the side B to idle snap. I like that. Just goes for the pummel damage. Probably get a back throw one more time. Yeah. Or just one more stray hit. I mean, anything. Wolf just might need to sneeze on Nico. Off stage? Oof. So close. Speaking of sneezing, those claws within close range of Shulk. Nico has definitely put in the extra credit homework done, and he's able to turn in the assignment and move it on to even stocks. Yeah. That's one of those difficult things is just that when you're at a higher percent, you know, you, your invincibility wears off sooner. So it's just one of those things where he didn't really have time to think, and then all of a sudden you just get clipped by a fair at that ledge. Down throw. Go some combos. I'm not like going to get that tech chase. Saw death dancing from Charlie here. He's trying to stay close to Nico, trying to mix up an option, but he's not able to find it. Tries to go for the blaster, but he still isn't able to find that option here. Gets the back air, pushing in Nico towards the ledge. He's looking for the down smash, but Nico wasn't gonna commit. Nico looks for Charlie's commitment, and he's able to find the side B, not able to auto snap the ledge either. It's really important though, because you do see the fact that if you don't space yourself right, that sweet spot from the wolf side B can kill you. Yeah, that was difficult. Another trade, unfortunately not working in Charlie's favor. So he's gonna go down 2-0. I like, just in general, it feels like Charlie has a good feeling on the tempo that Nico wants to be in. Because every time that Nico wants to be able to approach with a uh, rising fair or mm -hmm. rising aerial, he's already in the air with a back air already going to his face. Yeah. So he's doing a good job of figuring out how Nico wants to come in. It's just that he can't close out the stocks as well as Nico is doing. Yeah, always the bridesmaid, never the bride. And that's so far the story for Charlie here. Put in the work here, but now he's got one more attempt. Nico at set point. Bringing out all the stops here at those, those aerials. Yet again, we do see Charlie putting in the percent, but it's Nico the one to take the stocks. So not only that, Nico the one to make the comeback. Tries to go for a landing neutral into the grab. It's got Buster Art not only to deal pressure, but to deal good damage as well. So far, Nico coming back on the stage. That jump art. It's gonna close the stock there. Of course, like I said, you take more damage, but not more, more knockback. The same damage you take in jump art is the same damage you actually take in Buster. So they're very similar. That was a good recognition from Charlie, knowing that, recognizing that Nico's back was towards him, mm -hmm. so that if he had jump art available, he probably was gonna try to do a rising aerial. So exactly. he just intercepted them in the air. Speaking of interception there, Nico able to intercept Charlie at that situation with the forward air, comes back, Charlie with a great forward tilt. And it's, it's a pretty good forward tilt, but he was able to react from Nico at that situation, sensing, how, sensing what air he might've been going for. Yep. And every single time he, he's, he's looking for it, the jump art rising aerial, that time he just didn't quite space it correctly. He did a full hop by accident probably or something. So it's not quite gonna work out there, but still keeping up a decent lead. What's the tech chase? Not gonna be able to get anything afterwards. Oh, and that forward smash, not quite gonna connect. Neither is that up smash. These two really looking for that hard punish when they're in close boxing scenarios. They just wanna get them off each other, but that air slash is finally gonna take the job. Yeah, I mentioned it earlier, right? That air slash for Nico works like a DP. He's able to get out of the situations. Pretty good out of shield option as well. Charlie with a great opportunity for pummels. He back throw him, not gonna kill across the stage like that, so he just wants the percent to set up for another option. Oh, well, the landing there, double down. Down air, oh, missing the opportunity for that down air to actually connect. So close for Nico. Yeah, but still tacking on the damage. With that one moment of control at the ledge, 66%, gonna get caught out of shield. Another, again, just catching him when he wants to be able to jump out. I mean, doing that to try either approach or get out of tough situations, and Charlie's catching that very nicely. Now Shulk into the speed art, gets the fair into the up throw. I like how he goes for the up throw yet again, and he goes for a blaster. Charlie immediately just trying to close up space with the situation. Well, approaches with another jump, art fair, fair one more time. The side B, not enough time. Recognize that Nico grabbed the ledge, he had to take a certain amount of time to hang on there, so Charlie was able to keep up and just come back to the stage before Big Edge R come in, and now we got the ledge trap. One more time, not gonna get anything though. 
Still stuck at the ledge though. Charlie Try to showing catch him. His, I like the fact that Charlie's showing us back. He could be going for a back, he could be going for a down smash, forward smash. Could be reading the rules here, but Nico finally gets the fourth, the back throw there in that situation with the smash heart. Nico has a lot of homework to do here. And Charlie, that's what we saw him going for that at the ledge a little bit earlier, right? He wanted to see what Ariel he was gonna go for. And immediately Charlie just tried to call it out. Doesn't get the kill here, but Nico can relentless with this pressure. He knows he has a lot to give up. And this wants to go to 30 into the grand finals winner side. Yeah, this is one of those diff situations is that, is that Charlie has been in it in game one and two. He had the lead and then Nico brought it back slowly but surely with this control at the ledge and he could get a bad trade at any moment with the smash art and that could potentially be it. Oof. He tries to go for the roll read on the up smash but doesn't find anything though. Wow, that grab didn't quite connect. Oh, oh no! The and the directional air dodge is going to make it back. It. He does not. Nico just takes it and dives all the way in with that fair. Closes it out. Three comebacks in a row, Vance. Three comebacks Did in a you row. See it, Cedric? We Did are not you referencing see that it? anymore. <laughs> we are not Did referencing you see that. It, Cedric? The three comebacks.